I went to the Bahamas. I went to the Bahamas. I went to the Bahamas. And it's not. And it's not. And it's not what you think. It's not what you think. I would tell people, oh, I'm going on a mission trip to the Bahamas. And I would just get a look that kind of said, oh, you're going to the Bahamas. Um, so I was not aware of what it would look like coming onto the island. But instantly after landing, you could just tell that a lot of it was untouched. There was a lot of things that were not finished. Um, so... I knew that we had, there was a reason we were there and that they needed us for sure. I would say Eleuthera is different from the other vacation islands in the Bahamas because really when we were there we didn't see many tourists at all. It wasn't really what I was expecting because it was so different than Nassau. There were no hotels, no tall buildings. It was just like a flat island. It is a family island and that actually means two different things. One, it's not commercial uh, like the other large islands, but two, it actually is family. Uh, while we were there, the people we were working with had family all over, you know. Uh, on the job site, Wade would be like, yeah, that's my brother-in-law over there, or that's my so-and-so, just pointing to different people in the town. And so it, it really was a tight-knit community in that way, at least in the different settlements uh, there were. It's uh, visually, it's a beautiful island. When, you, when you're flying in, you just see the turquoise water, but in the, the lush uh, foliage and everything, but what surprises you is when you look past that first layer. Throughout the week, we really learned that the cost of living is not ideal. Uh, I think a gallon of milk costs like $10. Um, gas, we freak out when it hits like close to $3, but it was outrageously expensive down there. Um, things like a printer that would cost $100 here cost close to, I think, $300 after things are shipped, taxes, fees, you name it. Um, so really going throughout the week and seeing that it's not anything that we're used to. We walked into the gas station on Monday and I saw a pack of Oreos, just a normal pack of Oreos, and it was $10.70. And that's outrageous for a pack of Oreos, but if you think about it, everything has to be shipped into the island. So that just adds a ton of costs. Everybody in Eleuthera, they wave at each other and they honk as each, at each other as they drive by. And it's something that, sure, we do in Apex, but not to the extent that they do in Eleuthera. So that was really cool and different to see just how familiar and friendly everybody was with everybody else. And it was really cool just to see how people interacted. To say hello, people just honk at you, whereas you think you need to like get out of the way here. People just wanted to say hello. People brought us like pineapple, watermelon, and they showed us a lot of gratitude for what we were doing, um, which definitely made you feel like you were there for a reason and that you were needed there for sure to do good works. Uh, BMH is doing, I would say, an outstanding job of building community. And it's not just because they say so, it's because you saw it in action. And then I remember Stephanie, the director, she told us that the people in Gregory Town raised the money to get the supplies to rebuild this school that was going to be a community center. So obviously the people are involved, they know about it, and Bahamas Methodist Habitat also hires people that live on Eleuthera to work for them. So the people that are on the work site with us and the people that were staying at the camp with us, they were hired by Bahamas Methodist Habitat. Um, as this project we worked on, it was great because we were just one component to the whole project. The community themselves had raised money and to buy materials and supplies. They were on the board that was helping do the whole project. They had outreach to the, to the government to make sure they could use the facility. Uh, and BMH was kind of a facilitator of getting a lot of this to come together in one action with us being there and so that was great. 
So at the VBS there were like 80 kids total I think, that was like the highest number. And it was cool to um, see that all these schools and all these churches from all around the island, some kids were even coming in from the mainland, from Nassau, to just to come to this VBS for a week. So it was really cool to see everybody come together. And I remember at one moment in time, one of my kids ran away from the group and I was like, RJ, come back! And he said, it's my godfather! And it was really cool to just see like everybody knew somebody. They all had relationships from their church and just they were just actually like one big family. The biggest thing I learned from Eleuthera was not to take anything for granted because seeing the conditions people live in there um, and how they're still such godly people and they're so happy and friendly to everyone they see um, is just really inspiring. The moment we got down there and I was looking through the devotional book and read the scripture passage about how Christ told his disciples, drop everything and just go. Just go do the work and leave all this other stuff behind. That hit home really deeply with me because it made me realize that all the AOSP work I do, I've never had to strip all the comforts away. I've had my, my bed at night, great food that I like, all of those different things. But going down there, I felt very stripped of a lot of those comforts. We went to the Bahamas and it's not what you think. 